The experience that I would like people to have when they walk into Numina is similar to stepping into a remarkable grove of trees. It's not so much that it takes your breath away, but it's almost more that it like, gives you breath. <laughs> The first time that I saw it, I felt like I was inside of a storybook. That's a good feeling. I even personally, sometimes when I'm standing up against the railing, have moments of like, Ugh, you know. I feel like you feel it in your stomach just a little bit to see kind of the vastness of the space. I'm Katie Kennedy. I'm a co-founder and creative director with Meow Wolf. And we are inside the swamp in Meow Wolf, Denver. Uh, the swamp is named Numina, which means the spirit of a place. Numina is 35 feet tall with three levels. We've been working on this exhibit since 2017. There were so many setbacks. I mean, this is basically a construction site that we're building from the ground up, wrapped in a noodle of highways. I don't think we would have thought we could do what we're doing right now if we'd really known what it was gonna take, especially financially. Meow Wolf, you know, we can't do anything normal, and so you just gotta jump in and say, cool, I have this idea, let's start building it. Let's start, you know, making this art. There's always a problem. No matter how much you plan, it's always slightly different on site when you get it in place. There is no real roadmap for how to do this. My biggest challenge was just trying to remember everything. You know, if I had a whole list of all of the things in Swamp, it would just, you know, be one of those scrolls that unfurls and just goes forever, it seems. This project, compared to our Vegas and Santa Fe exhibits, vastly different. All new things, a much bigger building, more scope that has been added to it. So it's different even from our own stuff that we've done in the past. Some of the things that I was most excited to improve upon were like a level of detail. The forest is extremely detailed, but I wanted more detail. <laughs> but also just completeness of immersion. What is the really impressive part of this room is that like not only are there small sculptures, but there's also like literally the entire room is a, is a massive sculpture from floor to ceiling, all done by hand. The reference photo for this room is a sphinx, or a hairless cat, and the way that the skin kind of stretches and wrinkles over their bodies and over the bones. Very, very strange looking textures. Wrinkly cat skin. If you just sit and close your eyes and listen to the sound, you can pick up a lot of little details of, you know, various creatures just making their calls across the way and talking to each other across the swamp. Lots of different species that were created. There's a gray area for sure between foliage and animal. <laughs> This is proof that we're crazy and magical. <laughs> I wanted to give the sense of being like in a sacred, natural space without any really of the normal things you would see in those spaces, but with the same sorts of feelings of awe and beauty and wonder that you get from being in an ancient forest and wanting to make a big, complex, natural space that could house lots and lots of different ideas. Doing this in a pandemic has been extremely weird. You know, part of me is like, it's completely insane to build something like this during a world situation like that. And the other part of me is like, it is essential to build ridiculous things while the world is freaking out and to continue to take the risk that gives people jobs too.
Wouldn't be surprised if it was over 100 people have had recent touch on this swamp. One of the most core things to Meow Wolf's identity is having lots of voices working together. Everyone is working in service of others more than in service of self. And there's a lot of really needing to just be part of a team. And to do that work, it requires a certain amount of like ego death as an artist, that there's so many hands that come together to work on these things that you really have to let go so that you can actively work together to build something bigger than yourself. Something I find exciting about what Meow Wolf is doing, I think Meow Wolf is very experimental in the way that uh, they're bringing people so close to the art and the fact that you can climb and touch and explore everything, I think is something very unique. My hope when people come in is that they get to have a moment of potential bliss <laughs> uh, and they get to carry that out into the world around them after they leave. If we can get people to pay attention to the space around them in a way that they don't normally pay attention to the world they're walking around in, then that tiny bit alone would be a job well done.